what do we, you need to know what we start with and what we end with with all these processes. What do we start with in glycolysis? Uh, glucose. glucose. How many carbons? Six, six. Three, four, five, six. I sure do. There is glucose. What do we turn glucose into? What's up? Oh yeah, we're gonna. Well, pencil. Right here. Boys and girls, what do we turn it into? Pyruvate. Oh, do you guys have your chapter seven packet? This will be helpful. This will help you with all the answers. Turn to page one forty-seven. Glycolysis. Glucose. Yep, 147. That'll help you with all the answers. So glycolysis, what did we just make? Two fiber bait. We took our glucose and did what to it? What do we do? Cha cha. What do we do? One forty-seven. We broke it in half. By doing that, what do we get out of it? What kind of energy? How many ATP? A net gain of two. We got four out of it, right? But we used two in the process. Because this reaction is a little bit of androgonic and a little bit exergonic. Okay, so out of it, different color, we're going to get boop, 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 2 ATP. What else do we get? What's our electron carrier that we get out of it? Um, yes, how many? More than one. Double that. Two. We get two NADH. Okay? Have we explained what we're really using those for yet? We know we're going to take NADH, we're going to rip that hydrogen off of it to make NAD positive. Okay? That's going to be, that's where we're going to get our electron from, the electron transport chain. Okay? So glycolysis, what do we start with? What do we end with? Two pyruvate, and do we get a lot of energy out of this? No. No. Next question, where is this taking place? Cytoplasm, cytosol. Cytoplasm, cytosol. Okay. What's next? Yep, we have what's called link or oxidation of pyruvate. We're going to take our pyruvate and do what to it? We're going to oxidize it. Use the words that I give you during the test. If you're just writing down stuff that's already there, you get points for the most part. Okay? We're going to oxidize our pyruvate. Is this an, endergo uh, is this an endergonic or an exergonic reaction? Exergonic. Does this require oxygen? Yes. Yes. This is your first step where you have to have oxygen. Okay? Does glycolysis need oxygen? No. Does not require oxygen. This can happen aerobically or anaerobically. Air meaning requiring oxygen, anaerobic meaning not requiring oxygen. Oxidation pyruvate, this is the first time where we do need it. This isn't exactly taking place in any specific location, but it's where we enter the what? Mitochondria. It's where we enter our mitochondria, okay? And there's two places we have to kind of distinguish. What's this place that's between our membranes? Uh, this is the matrix in here. So the very middle, that's your matrix. Okay, so we can label that now. In the middle, we have... Oh, yeah. We have the matrix. Okay. What about in between our membranes? What space is that? I'm saying It's the intermembrane space. Okay, do you guys understand that? We have a membrane... You guys see how, well, let's go draw my phospholipids. 
Okay, so we have two membranes. A lot of the larger organelles have two membranes. Okay, um, so pink again. This is our intermembrane space. Okay, it's between our two membranes. Back to zip purple color. What do we? What happens to our two pyruvate? Once we've taken our enzymes, they've done their thing. What are we ending with in oxidation pyruvate? We're going to start with two pyruvate. We're going to take these. They're going to go in. What do you get? What's your molecule? Look at your sheet. There's two of them. Yep, you want to be on page 147. Acetyl-CoA. Okay, you guys got that? How many carbons are in acetyl-CoA? Two. Okay, which means, what did we lose here? Six carbons, four carbons. What do we lose when we oxidize something? What do we lose? Not oxygen, carbon dioxide. We've lost a purple which is a CO2, and we lost another purple, a CO2. Okay, so that's woo, woo. Okay, we want to kind of count our purples. Six, six. We have two carbons, we've lost one. Two carbons, one. Well, I can wait. Just not too long. One of these is going to go into what? Citric acid. What else do we call it? What's the other name? Transport chain. Krebs cycle. Okay. So depending on what textbook, what you're using, uh, most people refer to it as the Krebs cycle. Okay. Time to move over. So right now, this is like... Um, Think of it like a conveyor belt. We just broke down our last sugar, okay? And one of these came in, okay? And then this guy comes in. And those connect to have a four carbon molecule. One, two, three, four. And then we add these two onto it. So over here, how many carbons do we have? Six, okay? But that's the last sugar, basically. Okay, one of these comes in and then attaches to these four to make six. And then there's a series of steps actually in here that break it down back into four, back into five. Okay, and you go into one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. And so we go from six to five to four. What are we losing along the way? more CO2. With every one spin, we lose two CO2s. Okay? And let's do that up here. <coughs> <coughs> so get the door. <coughs> we lose two CO2s. So right now, we have four coming in. How many? Hello. Doing a video. Want to be on my video? Crap cycle. You got a quick second? Yeah. Uh, not kind of. Okay. Right. Is he at auditorium issues now or? Yeah. So whenever, maybe during passing period. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. That's cool. Fine. All right. Thanks. Um, we have four. So basically, here's our two carbon and our two carbon guy, right? They're both going to enter here. How many spins do we need to do? to completely oxidize our carbon before those four are gone. How many times do we have to go around? Two. two spins. We go through here once, we lose two carbons. We do it again, we lose another two carbons. But this is constantly happening because we're always adding it from the last glucose. Does that make sense? So it's kind of like you're always taking in the last thing and getting rid of the latest. It's a giant conveyor belt that doesn't stop. Okay, so you'll always see four carbons to six to five to four. This just kind of keeps spinning. 
Okay. So now take a look at page 147.